But uh, I just wanted to be out of the drill. Excuse me? You just wanted to be out of the Oh, disappointment. I thought you said you want to be out of it. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, obviously very disappointed. Um, I like playing here and um, I thought I did a pretty good job the first two rounds. Um, but she played better today than me. She was more solid in a tough condition, so she, she won. Are you overall pretty happy with the way things have gone for you this week? Yeah, I mean, obviously I didn't want to lose, but <laughs> um, I thought it was a pretty positive step forward. I won two matches against two good um, players, so it's a pretty good start. And considering that I haven't won much last year, and I haven't played for well, since September, so like two months. Um, so overall, I thought it was, you know, it's positive, it's always good, so it's a good start. Is there one aspect of today that you were particularly disappointed with? Um, I think we could pick on a little bit of everything, I think. Um, I don't think I moved my feet enough to um, go around the balls enough, so I hit a lot of frames today. And um, But there were good things um, and good points and good games as well. I, I thought I, I played the point itself pretty good, I set it up pretty well, and I was missing a little bit, you know, by a few centimeters long. And, um, maybe I didn't serve as well, I didn't make enough first serves probably that he gave a chance to step in and hit the second serve, especially when I was against the wing, it was too short, so I was a lot of under pressure and um, yeah, it, it, it wasn't, again, it wasn't a great match, but there are some good things in it. And, and the fitness after the, the layoff, is that coming back now? Yeah, I feel, I feel pretty good. I mean, you know, it was pretty slow match actually, there was a lot of, because of the wind, there was a lot of breaks and a lot of time. We had to get to the toss and things like that, so, but overall I feel pretty good. Looking ahead to the Australian Open, how is your confidence you know, going into that? Um, yeah, it, it's growing. Obviously more matches I've played, the better I hopefully get. And now, uh, um, it, it's good to be back on court and then to win some matches and get the match play and the point and everything. So, um, Colby and I lost, but again, they were good things. So I think I'm um, getting better by the match and hopefully it's going to be good enough for the Australian Open. You've had quite a, a tumultuous year off the court. Do you still feel like you're carrying some, I suppose, emotional demons when you're going out there to play? Um, you're always going to carry it, I guess. Um, what happened to me, it's not something that you're going to just get over it and just kind of forget. It's always going to be there. But um, as my dad said, when I walk off the court, you know, there are worse things that can happen that already happened to you. So if I lose the match, it's it's very disappointing and I need to try to learn from it and get better for the next match. But obviously, as you said, there are worse things that can happen. So um, I will always just try to go on court and enjoy it and do what I like to do and, and try to improve as much as I can. So I'll, I think I will have much more um, positive outlook after the matches than I used to have. And um, just, yeah, I just want to be happy and enjoy what I do and outside of that, um, obviously, I like competing and, and I like to be as good as I can be in tennis, so uh, that's my main goal and that's what I'm going to work towards. Despite your record in the Australian Open, do you feel any better going into this campaign? No, uh, record. <laughs> Everybody, every player has somewhere some kind of record. Um, I was just talking to Nina and she said that Miss Kina had six first round at the French Open and then she won the French Open the, the seventh time she played it. So. You know, it's it's a record. Everybody has certain, I guess, places or certain tournaments they don't play well at, or they try so hard that it just never goes that way. So I don't think I think about it anymore. Maybe the first, you know, three four years maybe I did because it's really you just try so hard to do so well in in front of your home crowd and at your home event that it makes you really <laughs> play really bad. Um, but this year I think. I worked hard the last 10 weeks and um, the last four matches I played, I got better. There were still mistakes I made that I wish I didn't, but I got better. So I'm hoping that um, I can take what I learned today and what I, what I trained and what I did the last 10 weeks and hopefully put a good match out there this round. Are you disappointed that you won't get to play a double match tonight? Yeah, it is disappointing, but um, also Clara, considering she's my best friend, um, she we played together the Australian Open doubles as well, so I want her to be healthy for her singles. Obviously, it's a priority, and I will never be, you know, upset with her that oh, dang, you, you know, you retired. But I want her to be healthy and, and um, to be 
ready to play Australian Open. So, and also, I mean, it's it's disappointing because we're gonna play a night match, so it could be a lot of fun. And and also for the tournament, I think there was few people gonna come, so it's pretty disappointing. But um, the bigger picture is really Australian Open, so I have to make sure that she's ready and she's healthy, and we can do some damage there.